I'm doing is this tube is pretty much empty. I'm looking for there it is. this guy. I have a paint problem. You have a paint problem. first here. You've seen me do this before, most likely. This is another tape project. Um, I did this yesterday because I wanted it to dry because I knew I was going to have to do a couple coats. If it's, well, I can. I don't know if you can necessarily. Uh, there's a couple of spots here and there that are still showing a little white through, but whatever. we will how you say cold. So the idea here is, is what I'm going to do is the same kind of usual stuff I do with taping, but um, this time instead of just doing a basic paint like I did before, um, or if you've seen it before, like this, where I did the taping and then I just painted a solid color, I'm going to try doing some of the pouring stuff I do instead, um, you know, doing a bunch of pours and what have you like this, but on this. Obviously not these colors, because that would be silly. So far silly! Let's not do that. I just noticed I still have paint from what I was working on yesterday. I'm a genius. Anyway. So, let me think. The idea I had was... Small enough canvas so this might work. Now you'll have to pardon me while I eyeball this because I'm pretty terrible. The irony being, I have a ruler right next to me. I'm just not gonna use it because. Fuck yeah, I won't do what you tell me! Alright, so I want it to go here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Scissors would be probably helpful. I mean, I could tear it with my hand, but whenever I do that, a tragedy occurs. Find the scissors. And knock things down. Poor chair, so destroyed. Anyway, I apologize if the light kind of ebbs and flows. I'm right next to my window, so you cursed day star. I'm doing this like this because once I do the paint along the edges of the tape to kind of seal it closed. Um, I'm going to shove it in the other room to dry and then work on the thing underneath it, which when I pour the paint here, um, I'm going to then pick this up, move it away, let it dry, and then bring this bad boy back out. So, we'll deal with the tipsiness in the interim, right? Alright. 
I have a vague idea of what I want to do here. So, this is mostly, you know, voices in my head dictating what I work on. As usual. I've not tried mixing and matching these two things before, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Or science! Sitting here in my brain being like, it doesn't need to be perfect. Except it does. This is me and my old city. So the train of thought I was having for this is do that and then I was trying to decide if like do the midpoint of this out to the edge or here up to here maybe. Because that's a lot of V. <laughs> but the other idea I'd had was something like straight lines. But I also don't want to make the lines detract too much from whatever I end up pouring on it, so it's kind of like a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, kind of a thing. So let's see. Um, could do midpoint up instead, drop a straight line down. Here, here, oops, as I draw with my nail inadvertently, like a numpty. Uh, what was I thinking yesterday? Oh, I was gonna do midpoint and then. Oh, that's a lot of tape. Let's not do that, brain. You're the worst, brain. Brain. This is also not perfectly symmetrical, obviously. So. Let's just do that for now and see what I think. Let's see what I think after I do that. It's not straight, but I just need a... Taking a gander kind of a train of thought. Try one on one side, one on the other one, see which one looks more, I don't know, what I want to see. a tough one. So when I think, do it this way. I don't know. Like the triangle eatness of it is kind of like so so. Yeah, screw it. Let's do. Let's do this one instead. Do it this way. Come here, Mr. Little Tab. Right. 
pop this guy off over here somewhere. I think it needs a lot. Although kind of upside down, it almost looks like the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. logo. <laughs> oh well. Um. I'll do just one straight here. I'm gonna call it a day. Very scientific. Oh, I can tell that one straight. I hate you and you hate me. Can we just get this? Scissors. Alright. So. this for now. I don't want to get too crazy complicated on this. This is very much a first run, so put this away. I have no idea why it comes in this cute little container, but it makes it easy to find. along the edges here. I don't think I've noticed this before, but as I'm doing this, it's picking up the texture of the brush strokes underneath it. That's funny. I never noticed that before. I guess that's how I know I got a good seal, huh? Down. Oh. So. Not sure how much is really left in this little thingy majiggy here, so I'm just grabbing this to drop onto so I can have a eyeball estimate here. So I'm just going to paint the edges and then set it aside to dry and work on the other guy here. Oh, that should be plenty. Do 
this, get the edges sealed up, and then hopefully when we do the magical pour pour of doom here, we won't go under the tape. I'm thinking for this particular one, um, something simple that'll have like really, really high contrast with the blue. Um, maybe black. Black would be fun. White. I was thinking black, white, and maybe this blue, like a very tiny bit of it in there. So if I have some of this left over, which, yeah, I will. Um, I'll mix up a little bit in a uh, cup before I move on to... So what I'm doing, Energy, is I'm putting blue along the edges of the tape here to seal it closed so the paint that I'm going to pour on top of it doesn't get underneath the tape so this blue stays when I'm done. So basically I'm just sealing it closed. When you have it sealed closed like that, you end up getting the lines like this with the super sharp edges. So make sure there's no paint bleed underneath. It's kind of inadvertent that that particular canvas is right there, but it's kind of handy as a visual. So hooray. Also, hi nerds! So. Yeah, to prevent bleeding underneath the tape. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. I have to leave the AC on or I'll die. With all the computers I have in here.
Oh, it's not? Oh, that's good. Give it a minute. It's turning on super high. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that friggin' white noise. I'll have to, like, steal Pyro and see if he can help me figure it out. Actually, I could probably go fix it in a second. I don't know where the white noise suddenly started coming from. Also, for the record, if you ever do acrylic painting, having something like a fan or an air conditioner next to where you're painting is a terrible idea. Unfortunately, it's probably a poorly shielded cable considering where it runs through. I could buy another. It's just an XLR cable. Power being into 